Hey, greetings. This is Jim. And Deb. Hey, we are married and in the word. We haven't done a video for a little while. We wanted to get back to doing a video. We had a beautiful lake here. We had to go out and do some business. We decided to stop at this beautiful lake and we want to bring you a message today. The message is Satan, his bondage using the world. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. Yeah, well, we want to talk about is Satan and his bondage and how he uses the things of the world. You know, 1 Peter 5, 8 says, Satan is a roaring lion seeking whom he will devour. One of the ways he devours people, of course, through spiritual deception and false gospels, but another way we're finding throughout the course of our life and now as born-again Christians serving Christ is how he uses the things of the world, the fallen world. Now, let me make be clear. The world, you're looking at a beautiful lake here that God created, the water, the trees, the animals. In Genesis, God said it was good what he created. No, when we're talking about Satan and the world, using the world as bondage, it would be the fallen system of man. And what we've learned in our life as unbelievers and now is our life following Christ. Satan and man-made rules have much to do with distracting people, taking away your resources, taking away your time, discouraging you, and deceiving you into other things rather than being focused on the things of God. What do you think, Sister Debbie? Is that not a problem? Okay, yeah, so what we're talking about is the things that man has come up with. And now we know that government is from God, and the government is supposed to carry out what God has already ordained. Don't kill, don't steal, things like that. We're talking about Satan's distraction and bondage by adding and heaping all kinds of man-made rules, regulations. You know, Sister Debbie and I, I won't go into details, we have fought to get free from this world, free to be in Christ. That's mm -hmm. most important, being born again by the gospel. And then debt-free. Praise God, we got debt-free a long time ago. And we have one more thing that we're working on, and that's to be free from the world in some other technicalities. This has to do with land ownership and things like that. And we're fighting to get ourselves free from that. And we see all the rules and the silly details and the meaningless things that the government tells you you have to do and buy and have inspected and it just put on our hearts to talk about how these things become a distraction to us and it causes us to not serve the father it causes us to not be about the things of god and so our question to you saints out there are you fighting to set yourself free are you further encumbering yourself into this fallen system of the world? And I'm talking government, politics, entertainment, media, um, all of the regulations of businesses that are very complex. Mm -hmm. Are you fighting to be free from that, live a simple set apart life? Or are you continually entangling yourself into those things which distract you from God? That's really what we're talking about here. That's our focus. Yeah, and speaking of that, go look up the verse where it talks about no one looking to serve God entangles himself in the things of this world. That's really what we're talking about here. Breaking free from all of man's regulations, his rules, his offerings, his entertainment, his complications, his distractions. You hear what I'm saying, Sister Debbie? Yes, I do. What do you have to say and what would you talk to the ladies about? Look at that beautiful lake. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it is. Well... I can speak from experience on this one. One of the biggest entanglements for women would be food because we're keepers at home. You're getting caught up yeah, in it's a big one. what everybody expects, what every, all, the, all the preconceived notions about all this nutrition and organic and everything that's out there that women get wrapped up in, in special cooking. They get wrapped up in exercise and, yeah. and textiles and what do you want to say? Chemicals. Oh, yeah. And yeah, we're supposed to be very careful with a lot of that. But what we need to do is keep our focus on the things of God and not go too far into such things. Use wisdom, but yet make sure your focus is on, on God and not the, the nitty gritty details of all that stuff because then you're in fear. Amen. You're in fear for your health and, yep. and your family's health. And it and becomes a bondage, and that's what Satan wants. It is. It is a bondage. Yeah. And I was in that for the longest time. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, Brother we Jim were. had to help me. We were. Yeah, yeah. And exactly. we got out of it, praise God. And that's that's kind of what we're talking about here is like, men, when you want to start a business, 
Well, do you pick a business that has lots of regulation, lots of technicalities, lots of uh, hoops you have to jump through, mm -hmm. or do you pick something simple and good and pure? That's what I'm talking about here. Again, what we're fighting to do to get free from these last few things, and praise God, we're so close, and we see all the futility of man's rules and regulations. We just want to warn you, Satan uses these things you know, tax write-offs, investment properties, you know, vacation condos, just name it. Everything that is not required to serve and live a godly life just becomes a distraction. It's bondage. Satan's using the things of the world, man-made fallen world system, to distract you when you should be fighting to set yourself free. A couple of verses for you. Go look in the Gospels in several places. Jesus says, my sheep are not of this world. Neither am I of the world. They're not of the world. Amen. Romans 12 says, don't conform to the world. So us not conforming to the world means we should be striving to get out of the world, shouldn't we? Man's fallen system. Yeah, that's another thought. Are you fighting to get out of it or are you conforming to it? That's what we're kind of talking about. James 4.4 4 says, to be friends with the world is to be an enemy of God. Wow, that's a powerful one. Are you holding hands with the world? Or are you fighting against them to leave it and serve God in spirit and truth? And then 1 John 2.15, anyone who loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Again, you can't find any Bible verses that tell you that you should be of the world, part of the world, being caught in all of its technicalities, its rules, its pleasures, it's regulations outside of, okay, we all have to pay taxes, I understand that. We all have to obey the uh, rules of the road, I understand that. I'm talking about all these extra things. Let me give you some quick examples. If you wanna buy a piece of land and go live there, you can follow all the rules of the world, getting zoning permits and getting this and getting that and having all the thrills and bells and whistles of the world, or you can go off grid, right, Sister Amen. Deb? Amen, yeah, that's freedom. You can go off grid. You don't need any permits if you move to the right place. You can do your own thing. You break free from the ways of man. Same thing with a business, like I saw, talked about. Pick a business that is not regulated, that you can do quickly, easily, without a lot of laws. This helps set you free. Amen. And that's really what we're talking about. So hope we're giving you some things to think about here. I think Sister Debbie has one more thing she wants to add. Yes, I do. I want to give an encouragement to sisters who are married to men who may be striving to set themselves free. Dig deep and make sure that you're killing all your flesh so that way you can help him and not hinder him. Because as we travel around, and Brother Jim talks to all kinds of men out there, they say, wow, I would love to be set free from my job for the simple job or, or live off grid from this big house and live off grid. But the wives are hindering them. Yeah. We see it all the time. Yeah, because they won't have it. Yeah, that's a good point, Sister Debbie. Yeah. So as, as husband and wives, we have to be partnered together for Amen. both believers. Right. And we have to be seeking after the things of God. And so I hope this message has made, has made sense to you. The encumbrances, the bondage of the world, Satan's using even things that you think are pleasurable. He's using them. Let me give you another example. Here you go. 401ks. How many people are working a job that they don't want to be at living for their 401k because they're mm -hmm. so sacking a bunch of money away for the future when God would be calling them to go, proclaim the gospel, do something different, start an orphanage somewhere. Nope. The pleasures and the bondage and the regulations of the world say you can't retire and take your money until you're 65, so you're stuck here. This is what I'm talking about. The bondage of the world. It's not of God. Mm -hmm. And so we warn you about that. If you're a believer, are you following God's word? Yep, we must obey man's law. But we can regulate that by not being under a good deal of his laws by not partaking in those things. Like I said, businesses, or if you want to live off the grid, it's a lot simpler. Here's one. Move to a state where you can homeschool your children easily, then you don't have to worry about all these public school regulations. That's another one. Right. Satan is using that as a bondage. Well, Johnny and Susie got to go to public school and they got to get shots and they got to... Why? You're still free in America. You can move. What are you doing? to set yourself free from Satan and his bondage of the world. What do you think, Sister Debbie? Did we cover it? Oh, there's so many more, but yeah, it yeah. would go on forever. Hopefully you folks are striving to come out of the world. It will cost you a lot of flesh killing. It yeah. will cost you friends, family, money. It will cost you a lot of things, but I can tell you on this side of it, there's nothing more that's worth more. There's nothing that's worth more than serving Christ in spirit and truth, being set free, free in Christ by the gospel, faith, repentance, obedience, 
holiness and enduring in the faith and then being set free by being debt free so we're able to stand out here at a lake and talk to people That's right. i would be at work if i wasn't debt free and also even though i do work um then also um being set free from the world whirly jobs whirly systems and things like that so mm -hmm. we have an article on that on our teaching blog go to don'tperish.com look it up three freedoms in christ hope this video has helped you convict you are you making your life too complicated is Satan bringing you into bondage? Mm -hmm. And what can you do about it? Amen. Hey, this has been Brother Jim. And Sister Deb. We're married and in the Word. We are traveling, we're preaching, we're working. We'll be bringing you more. Try to do more videos. Till next time, send us an email. Let us know how we can help you in the faith. We love you all. And as we always say, Sister Debbie. May God be praised. Hey, she's getting good at that. Bye-bye, <laughs> folks.